We have news! Brett! Tell everybody our news! So that scent box isn't going anywhere because it's gonna suck if we have to cut that thing out. Man. We should have been a little more careful. We are Brett and Jade Evans. We decided to go for our dreams and purchase this wrecked sailboat. We're working hard to restore it and to document the journey with new episodes every week. Subscribe and join us on our greatest expedition yet. It's been a little while since we've done much sanding, and I gotta say, this epoxy is no joke. It is so hard. It is sanding the sanding paper, shredding it. I guess that's good. It doesn't want to come off. I'm pleased with its bond and integrity, but man, we should have been a little more careful the first time around to make it a little, just a little nicer before letting it harden, but we'll get there. A little more sanding, a lot more sanding, a lot more sanding. Before we can put the keel on the boat, or really the boat on the keel, we need to bulk up the fiberglass thickness around the keel bolts. It would have caused too much heat to do it all before, so now we get to do it later. And because the peel ply never showed up when we did our first layup, we get to bust out our beloved sanders and prep the surface for new glass. Here walking Pennifer, taking a little break. We had some dinner and oh, almost stepped on her. And now we gotta go back and do some glassing. We had some caffeine. Feeling caffeinated and feeling ready. I don't really care what I do, but I'm like, let's do it. can't find any earplugs, so I'm going to use some dirty paper towel and shove in my ears, because the last time I was sanding, my ears were ringing afterwards. So I don't know where my earplugs are, and my earbuds are back at the apartment. So this will be better than nothing, I hope. Yeah, already better than nothing. I don't think we actually need this much more glass. This is not even all of what I'm about to cut. <laughs> Seems a bit like overkill, but as soon as you like wet it and get it on there, that's gonna be just right. This is just cutting and cutting. I'm pretty much done sanding these two pockets. This is the sump box. We bought the box in there now, but I'm going to cut it out so that we can silica the edges. And when we lay this new glass, I'll cut some slits in it and have it glassed in so that it's all one big piece from the outside and from the inside. So that sump box isn't going anywhere. And I really hope we got it in the right place because it's gonna suck if we have to cut that thing out again.
I just finished that entire roll of fiberglass. It is a PVC on the inside. It's not even like something I can hit. I mean, I guess I could hit you with it. <laughs> I was really looking forward to the wrapping paper roll, but it wasn't. It was it's PVC. Anyway. We're gonna go get some more caffeine and we're gonna keep going. I'm pretty sure it's gotta be like 2 a.m. already. Brett's probably gonna be like, no, it's only 10. But it feels like 2. But we're probably gonna keep going until forever and ever and ever. And we're gonna epoxy. But first, caffeine. caffeine and water. Water. How'd it go, Brett? I'm like way too close to your face. Let's try this again. I got one and almost two boxes done. That one's ready to go, we just need to clean it. This one's good to go, minus the sub box. I cut it all out, but we need to like sand it some more. But yeah, we're going, yeah. yeah you already said it, we're, yeah, so we're yeah, going. it's yeah. late. Okay. It's not 2 a.m., but it's late. We've recaffeinated, but we've decided it's too late to work. We're just gonna clean up. Jade has a really pretty table. Gloves. You turned it, nobody can see me throw gloves. Is that funny? This is <laughs> on your shoulder. <laughs> Clean up Jade's mess that she made. Jeez, slob. It's just a reflection of who it's I am as a person. Perfectly folded. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking all of this up. Can I climb a ladder with no hands at 2 a.m.? Let's find out. So far that's a no. Round two, okay. Cuts to a clip of me in a hospital bed. That was awesome. So funny story, earlier today, I got stuck in one of the hatches. In that hatch. Because we didn't have the key and that hatch was the only one unlocked so I went to lower myself down but then I wasn't tall enough I couldn't reach and just the way my arms were I got I got stuck so then I'm like calling for Brett at the top of my lungs I'm screaming and he's just like what I'm like I need help I was under the boat I need help <laughs> help me he's like why <sighs> come here where just kidding <laughs> he really couldn't hear me he did come and he did save me, but I really messed up my shoulder. I like twisted my rotator cuff. And anyway, I'm telling you that story because- you rotated your rotator? No, I twisted it. <laughs> I'm telling you that story because it kind of hurt to hold the fiberglass anyway. Mm -hmm. It's time for bed. Brit's making art. I made a mistake and let Jade have caffeine at one in the morning. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> I cleaned up. This vehicle is gonna take me home. I can get in bed. And tomorrow's the day. We're gonna finish all of the glassing tomorrow, right Brett? Yeah, all of it. All of it. 100%. 100%. Um, probably not, but we could probably make it look like we did it all in one day for you guys. Would you guys like us to finish it all in one day? Because I bet we could finish it all tomorrow. I'm sure if it was already be done a long time ago. <laughs> Shoves his nose into our wings and gets all the pets. <laughs> it's like a head hug. <laughs> hey, buddy. Dingo. Hi. The surface is prepped. This means that we can now put down layer after layer to reinforce the bolt areas. Also, it's really hot outside. I'm talking thunderstorms, humid, heat wave, hot. We need an ice cream truck, but we don't have one. Instead, we have epoxy curing, which makes it even more hot. 
so we are forced to work basically all at night because heat rash is no joke, my friends. Sounds like she's mad at me. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? It sounds like Penny. <laughs> Penny moves when she's sleeping, in case anybody's wondering what that reference was. We are making great progress. You are so sticky. Everything about you is sticky. <laughs> box number one is almost done. Is we it got... a box now? Yeah, we call it, what do you she call it? The pocket? No, we call it box. We never called it the box. Box number one is done. Q rewinds and show all the times that we've called it boxes. We've never called it a box. Except for every other time this, anyways. You're gonna do all the licking in the footage for the box clips then without me rewind. It won't be very hard. It's going really well. And then we're learning. We're learning about time. We're getting better at it. It's beautiful. It's going on really well. It's going really fast. We're not as frustrated. Apparently I'm sticky. She's sticky everywhere. You got stuck with me. She's not stuck to you. Please work on that. <laughs> <laughs> With our precious shipment of peel ply still lost somewhere in the mail system, we decided to try a trick suggested to us by a friend. We're laying plastic over the fresh epoxy and then struggling profusely to squeegee all of the air bubbles out of it. This is just an experiment. We want to try on one section to see if it works before we cover the entire boat in plastic. pocket and it looks so great it went super well tonight we went kind of slow and we took our time to make sure we did a good job we just laid this plastic right here as an experiment um, supposedly it should bring the resin more to the surface because of the way we laid it on and tomorrow we'll peel it off and it'll be a smooth surface that, sur surface a smooth surface that we can peel ah the mosquitoes are getting me my bug spray is worn off time to go home We'll check on us in the morning. We are watching a little bit of YouTube while we clean up, uh, get ready to start epoxying. Jade's working hard here, cleaning up some of our buckets. 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 I think they're pots, actually. I don't know. Oh, and I've been cleaning up GoPros. They're covered in epoxy. <laughs> Still working. Way to go, GoPro. Yeah, should be a good day. With the sump box all glassed in on the underside, it's now time to glass it in from the inside. If you spend any time researching how to do any kind of fiberglassing or boat work, you will very quickly realize that there are a million different ways to do the same thing. So throughout this entire project, we've been really trying to kind of try a little bit of everything to figure out what works the best for us. One of those things is laying out a piece of plastic to use as a sort of wedding station for the fiberglass. We have found that this works really well for medium and small pieces of glass, whereas with larger layups, it's not always the most feasible option. Hey, 
quick interruption because we have a matter of business in the industry of gingerbread. This is important, important stuff. I counted up all of the comments and figured it out and depends how you count, but technically Jade won, but technically, technically I won mm -hmm. because yeah, wanna, more people guessed hers right. <laughs> more, more people got hers right, they did, but more people also got hers wrong. I built the sand crawler, which is from Star Wars, obviously, and the Mandalorian which I guess is also Star Wars. But I think because people had really, really high expectations of what Jade was capable of and where her mind went, they also guessed hers wrong more often. It's true, you guys give me a lot of credit as far as famous architecture, which, you know, I do love Frank Lloyd Wright. I think that was the most common yeah. guess. People either knew mine or they didn't even try. They were like, a rectangle? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people got but, yours right but though. What was it yours? was pretty close. Mine was the burrow, the home of the Weasleys from Harry Potter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really impressed by the people who got both of them right. Yeah. And some people Most people got both of them right. If they got one of them right, they got both of them right. Yeah. Good on you. Yeah. Yeah. I I had zero expectations anybody would get it right. <laughs> Either of them. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> so thank you for everyone watching that video. We know it was a little bit rough. Ah, uh, there's a story there. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, very fun to film. And it was especially fun to film because we were filming it on a brand new camera because we have officially been initiated as a real sailing channel. We <laughs> We're one of them now, it's official. Our old camera went swimming along with the tripod and the microphone and the lens. And the tripod is the only thing that survived. Yep. So huge shout out to our patrons. We've been saving everything from there so that we could get a new camera in the case that the ocean ate it because we kind of had a feeling and hey, we were right. And not only did we get a new camera, but we upgraded. This camera is better in low light, has better slow motion. It's just better. It's all, it's just better. And that means that hopefully we'll be producing better videos Theoretically. <laughs> We're always trying to do better and push more, but yeah, definitely was a little rough around the edges, especially in the audio department. So we apologize for that. Thank you for for growing with us. Keep in mind, we have only been doing this for three months, four months. Yeah, we're yeah learning. I think it's like month four and now. And we're learning so. as fast as we can, and we appreciate you all being here. So big heartfelt thank you to all of you patrons. You're awesome. Thank you for supporting it and making it possible. Thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It actually helps us a ton in building this channel. 2020 is over. 2021 is <laughs> not off to a great start, but we do have a lot of really fun plans. We are ramping up. We are trying to grow as fast as this YouTube is growing. We're working really hard yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah, we got caught way off guard. <laughs> so especially like our patrons, thanks for being patient as we try and get things ramped up. I feel we have big plans for 2021. Yeah, we're, we're catching up, I think. We're getting yeah. there at least. So. Yeah, we, especially for our patrons. We have a lot of fun things planned for you guys this year. Oh, and patrons. One other final note oh, on yeah, that. Oh yeah, I forgot is the answer is a peso, a Filipino peso. None I don't think of any you, of you got that yeah, right. Not even close. Not, Bitcoin was close. At least that was really cool. <laughs> I laughed really hard at Bitcoin. That was the best guess. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so Filipino peso is the answer to that question. So thanks for being there, supporting us, being our crew. Love you guys. Okay, back, back to the, to the video. video. <laughs>If you've been paying attention, this is obviously still not a new day. We just quickly changed our hair and our clothes and potentially the location of the Earth in its orbit. Okay, that went smashingly well. We've got it all super reinforced right here over the keel area. It's looking good. You can kind of see right there the light coming through. We need to take uh, a hole saw and we'll drill out the holes once that's all dry and then we'll be ready to go get that keel remounted. Yay. Off to dinner. Dinner, 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 dinner. 
You know what? I really like food. We have news! Brett! Tell everybody our news! We had the best meeting with our surveyor. He was awesome and he said that what we're doing is awesome. It was so good. We like showed him, we were, we were like super tentative. He's like, you guys are doing awesome. He's like, this looks great. I have no concerns about how you're doing it and how it looks. And he's like, this is great. Yeah, you have a lot to clean up, but I mean, that's the way it goes. Doesn't matter who you are or like what you've done. Like it just looks like this. So good job, you guys. You guys did it right. You ground it down right. It, your glassing looks good. I like that you're using epoxy. Literally everything he said was like, great job. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had the camera. We were so excited once he got out of earshot and we could freak out. We've been stressing all week that he was gonna come. What are you guys doing? Start over. <laughs> all compliments, all good things, no question. Like you guys are overbuilding it. It's super strong. He took pictures in case the insurance company needs those later. And we are golden. And you can tell because we're talking really fast because we're so excited. But I was so worried because I mean, it looks so ugly. <laughs> I was worried just because I feel I feel like it looks so ugly because it's clear like we don't have the dye in the resin so you can see just all the ugliness coming through it and anyway. <laughs> if you've made it all the way here to the end, hello okay, this is a and goodbye. Be sure to join us next week when we think we are going to get our boat mounted on the keel. We don't actually. Be sure to join us next week when we think we're getting our boat mounted on the keel. Good, all the way up until the end. <laughs> <laughs>